I'm Dr. Bonnie Henry, the Provincial Health Officer. We're and watching globally what's happening around the world. We have identified a second case of someone who we has tested positive. Actually, new cases uh, within the last Take day. these measures we to keep away positive from others their... and consider staying home. BC and Alberta have declared a public Nursing health homes emergency. Across the country have been An extraordinary plea from Canada's Prime as Minister to work together by staying stay home, home to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Don't go out unless you absolutely have Obviously, to. coronavirus is affecting everybody worldwide, but with huge festival cancellations, the industry is um, really worried about what this could mean for the next year or so. They are often living gig to gig in, in any they sort of normal They say that an estimated week. $100 million in lost income has from already 40, been 40,000 events that have been cancelled, impacting 200,000 workers. We have new uh, COVID-19 positive cases in British Columbia today, bringing our total to 1,445 people. To the artists. Being an artist, we are used to uncertainty. We're told that nothing is really ever guaranteed in this industry, and I know that. I wake up one day and I'm cast to play the role of, you know, a giant plant eating people. We don't know if we have work tomorrow or in three years. Like, live in that uncertainty, people, because it gives us this beautiful, crazy world that we live in. What being an actor has really taught me is this really how to, to walk a mile in someone else's shoes, how to be compassionate, how to be brave, how to be courageous, and how, most importantly, to be honest and to share your story. In March 2020, the world paused. Your job is critical. You aren't told that enough, but people turn to you for light in dark times. Like during this time of isolation, the first thing people have done is turn to the arts. Video games, books, Netflix. The world would be a sad place. I think that it brings so much joy, passion, excitement, and love, and especially music for me, which is my, my art. It has given people an opportunity to say what they couldn't normally say because they couldn't simply find the words. That that form of expression gives them the opportunity to engage in the world in the way that they know how and the way that they can best um, show who their own opinions on, on the world around them. But living in a time where you can't even walk into a theater right now, it's really hard and that's something I know I'll never take for granted again. Artists of the future. There was a time where we couldn't create the way that we were used to. There was a time where we were stuck at home, in our own individual spaces, in our own individual studios, our own individual theaters. But we still embraced the artists that we were. I took this very scary and stressful and awful situation to put us all in a situation where we have no choice but to, but to sit with ourselves and, and listen to what we want. No matter what, art does not die. And the arts will and always have been, they will be there for us. You can cancel whatever shows you want, or you can silence us as much as you want, but nothing like a virus is ever going to stop art. We're all, look at us all, we're just making it happen in our kitchens, in our living rooms, in our bedrooms. Come on, it's unkillable. Because the art isn't dependent on the spaces that we're in. You already have it. It's with you always. In times like this, I say keep creating. We're so used to creating for a product rather than for ourselves. But try it. Continue to post your Instagram stories and live stream your dance classes and share the art that you're making because in this time, we need we need opportunities to smile and we need reasons to look away from the things that are terrifying us and that can be you. And our work reaches further 
than the walls of our homes. Stick with your passion and really allow yourself some grace. You don't have to create like the world's greatest symphony in an hour in your bedroom. Don't let yourself stop creating because you're worried about what people might think. This too will pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. And artists, it's thanks to you that this world is covered in beauty. Thank you for creating. Thank you for existing and thank you for sharing that with us.